Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Amanda the Adventurer 2. We are not done with this game. The end that we got was not the official ending, and I knew that. I knew because the game said continue, and when it put us back in, it was at the beginning where we walk into the library. So I knew that we weren't done with the game because there was still the matter of Kate's office that we needed to get into. There was the woolly plushie in the glass case. So there's still a bunch of stuff to do. I think there's some secret tapes that we need to unlock. So without wasting any time, let's just hop back into this shit. So I think stuff is supposed to be different now that we have already gone through this. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Yeah! At least in our imaginations we can. With my magic train! I, I don't remember if she looked you around the first time. Anyone in the world, who would you go see? Because I think visiting, I mean, uh, looking around was like her looking for the possum. But I could just be tripping. Um, let me see. Who do I? I don't really think it matters this time around. We'll just say Wooly, though. <laughs> if yeah. you can find him. Can find him. But wow. It does have the skip here, so I wonder... Uh, open some shades. Uh, I think it would still be too dark. Why don't we try something else? Whoa, what? Are you sure we've done that before? Okay, if you want to make the same boring choices, I guess we can do that. Oh, whoa. Wait, what? Okay, our piggy bank should be here now. We still need to collect 10. Let's count them together. So One, same thing as last time. Two, We're going to wait for three, it to, to show four, up in the bottom corner. Five. I have five coins. And then she's going to take the two away. So we need to... Oh, that's right. It needs to be an even five. Or an even ten. Uh, I forgot the pattern. Because she's going to take the two away. That leaves us with three. And then... Oh, I forgot the pattern. Don't make me do this again. God damn it. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? Hold on. Because I think taking the two away is exactly what we needed. Ah, oh, I can't remember. We need some more money. Wow. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. Ah! Sorry, I uh. In it, I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's a. Okay, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need three more. She's going to get some taken away by the possum. Up. Wait, 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 wait. I think... Ah, oh, shit, I don't know. I don't remember! Alright, so we got the one taken away. No, no, no! He ate one of my coins! Uh-huh. And then... Amanda, please don't. Politely asking, thank you. And then she's gonna find, I think, three more in the couch. There we go. Da 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 da! Oh, we have to finish the tape. I forgot. No! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! She was about to yoink my, my coin! I did not go through all of that on my first. Wooly! Hi, Amanda. What you doing? I... Uh, I was going to go on a trip. Ooh, it's fun to pretend you can go places, isn't it? Damn, what a fucking Debbie Downer. Ah. Hey, Amanda, this is 
Amanda! Amanda! <laughs> hey! Hey! Amanda! <laughs> hey, we have to Amanda! Okay, cool! So that's different. Now we got that. Good night. I'm going to periodically keep checking the woolly case to see if anything is different with that. I just want to come out here and see if anything changes as we progress. That, there's not even a name for this tape on here. I don't know how many secret tapes there are supposed to be. I, I know that there's one in there. I could see it. I could see it with my eyes. I could see it with my ass. One, two, three, toys to... Has the stuff spawned yet? Yeah, it has. Okay. I don't know what to do with this because I would assume that this is also part of the puzzle and then I know what to do with that and I know how to deal with that. I don't know what to do with this one though. If that even is part of the puzzle because I can't imagine that these two things would be here for no reason, but I can't think of any. Okay, the stuff is supposed to be different here, so maybe maybe if I just watch the tapes, let's put away another one. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. Let me go ahead and pause that. It's X O X X O empty space. Or no, I gotta guess what that one is gonna be. So hang on, hang on. It's X O X X O. I think that was X O O O X X. Okay, never mind. It was. <laughs> it's been a minute since I recorded this, okay? Okay. Uh, this one over here. Oh, but do I. Am I supposed to figure this out right now? Because if something is. <sighs> okay, hang on. I'm just gonna do everything normally. I'm just gonna do what I've done before. Okay, that's just one tape. I think a second one is supposed to pop out if I can figure out what this does. So maybe again, if I just go through the tape, I'll be able to figure something out. I'm telling you, I'm standing on business this episode. We don't have time for jokes. Amanda thinks that she can manipulate us. So I want to say there's got to be something in here. I can't imagine... Let's see, eggs, oranges, pigs, cows, cupcakes, wheat, apples, none of this stuff goes together. Uh, maybe that's the point, though. Maybe apples and oranges go together because they're fruits. Cows, cows or pigs, they don't lay eggs, but they, cows feed off of grass. I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to tell me if I got it right. Yeah, I don't know. And then this one here is basically just like... A matching game so that goes with that this guy would probably be wearing the military pants and then this one this one is the only one that like would really give me a hard time or probably not because this guy is all bubbly she'd be wearing that yeah, I don't. Just watch. Just watch the tape. Watch the damn tape. What are you afraid of? Uh, your mom. Oh, it's an actual question. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Would typing in Hamelin do anything? Hamelin, the company that started all this. No. When is that ever gonna be the answer? Uh, Kate. What if we're afraid of Kate? No. What if we're afraid of Wooly? Oh, yeah, he's really scary. Thinking about okay. something, you're, should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Please hurry back soon. Okay. I know where to find the nightlight. Imagine if it moved or it wasn't there. Okay, I just wanted to check and make sure that anything... I wanted to make sure that nothing... That feels different. Why am I getting the chills? Why do I have the chills? 
<laughs> Why do I have chills? Good night, <laughs> Riley. I, I vaguely remember. Ah, uh, so what do I? What was different there? What do I do with you? Am I supposed to do anything at all? There's an achievement in the game where you you play around with this thing during the day, but I don't know what that means. This is the let's practice patience one. I like this one because I actually I felt really good about figuring this out. This is the one with the monkeys and the yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it nice to be a and I'm Wooly. What's good, gangy? Oh my god. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark. Oh, don't worry, Wooly. I got you, bro. Oh, oh my eyes. Are you trying oh. to blind me? Yes, I am, so that I can do this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Smart. What's your favorite kind of bird? Bluebird. Okay, this patient thing is going too far. Let him do his thing. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking, guys. I I had no idea. Wow, that was great. now. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and we use the house. Wait for the silence so that we can then turn the volume up on the radio. They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet. So. Okay. Uh, I won't be very quiet for long, Wooly. Oh, what? So peaceful. Okay, now I turn up the volume. You're listening to K. There we go. And then we complete it by. Yeah. Feeling a little under the weather. Well, I'm Dr. DJ Brandon A. I'm here to let you know I've got the cure. And since it's President's Day, it's free. Boom! I don't need you. Oh my God! I knew that that was gonna happen, but it, it was so much closer than the first time. That shouldn't have scared me like it did. Oh my god. Hi! I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break. Is this the one where. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last time I gave her Mr. Rooster, I want to see. Is this case unlocked now? It's not, but the tape is gone. Ah, so I wonder if this glass is going to break when uh, the Amanda monster shows up. That's interesting. So the tape is gone. Is there anything I can do to break this? I've tried legitimately taking the books and throwing them at the case. That doesn't work. What's the printer have to say? Of course. Blank. Ran out of ink. Hate when that happens. Which direction should we go to find the treasure? Uh, west. I think you're right. The Ooh. band just played a trick on us to try to keep us away. Let's go. Emma, I don't like it here. Are you sure this is where the treasure is? Shush, Willie, look. There's a mound of dirt. It must be where the treasure was buried. Because on the map, this is the place where it says danger. And then south, well, I don't think there was anything. And then the wet, the east were frogs. I went north last time. This isn't treasure. Both. You know what else is fun, Amanda? Burying things. Yeah, Willie. 
sometimes you just have to bury things. Okay. Come on, Amanda. Let's keep looking for that treasure. I don't think I was supposed to do something there. Which way should we go to find the treasure? Oh, okay. That was just a little whatever, whatever. South. Soyth. We can't go any farther south. Look carefully at the map. Uh, east. I don't know if we'll find anything over there. But it sounds like an adventure to me. Let's go! Ew! Did you leave some eggs in your pocket, Amanda? No, Wooly. That's what swamps smell like. It's sulfur. Yuck! If there's any treasure in this swamp, it can stay here. <laughs> Which way should we go to find the treasure? What happens if I say west again? I think you're right. Oh, we Amanda just played a trick on us to try okay, to Okay, we have to say north, way. but Let's east and go. west are pretty much just like little Easter eggs. Where should we dig for the treasure? Circles are a good indicator. Hmm, look more closely at the markings. I don't think that's it. What about the homeboy in the tree? What about Wooly? What about you? What about the square? You really don't make a good bandit, do you? Okay, fine. Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. Oh, great, here we go again. Seriously, who is that guy? <laughs> What if I don't help her? Because I think the first time around, I did help. Oh, it takes a shovel. And then we can't dig anymore. I told you to be careful. So then Wooly never falls in the hole. broken. It's a good thing I always carry after some You never know what you're going to need on an adventure. What can I use to fix my shovel? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, crowbar. I don't think that will help. I only use those to. <laughs> to what? What can I use to fix my shovel? Gloves. I don't think those will help us Damn now, it. but I never leave home without them. I'd really like to fix this shovel. No. You're not gonna hurt Wooly on my watch. Fuck. All right. Good job. We can use the wood glue to fix the shovel. Okay, bandits, let's get to digging. Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. <laughs> I guess you'll have to use your hands. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Push her in. We did all that digging for this? Can't stop. Damn. Maybe I forgot I can't pause it. Maybe important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> Come on, Willy. Let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? So I think that's the cow. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Okay, it's got to be the woolly plush. It has to be, but how do I how do I get it? There's got to be some way, right? I'm getting tired of waiting. Chill out. I need you to wait just a little bit longer. Can I pick the stool up? I can't. Damn it. Okay. What if I give her... What if I give her this one? Tick, tick, tick. I don't know. She didn't like funny Mr. Rooster. Really? 
I'm assuming she's not a fan of that one either. Riley, are you okay? Riley, get out of there! Damn it, man. Fuck! <sighs> what am I missing? What am I doing wrong? One hour later. Think about all the places we can go. What? What? Oh, that's what she meant about doing something different. What the hell is this? Um. Okay. Hold on. So our first trip is to London. Where does the train station begin? I think that's the goal. This is the station. This is the start. Okay. So our first trip is going to be to London. Or Paris. No, our first trip is to Paris. So da 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 da. Then there, and then that's not it. Then it would be not that. It's too early of a trip. There's no way for me to rotate these. Oh wait, wait, wait! Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I lied. Yes, and then we go to London. Is there a way? Is there a straighter one? Oh, oh! Yo, I'm about to figure it out. Okay, so we start here, da, 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 go through here, and then that way. Okay, wait. This one, this one is the goal, but this one is a mystery. So, no, we don't go to London next. It's Paris, and then Mexico City, because she wants to see the Isle of Dead Dolls. So there, then there, and then we can place that, no, nope, place that there to go to London, this here. Are there any more? Or can I undo them as the train is going? That would be fire. I can't undo them while the train is going. Damn it. Okay. There's got to be more blocks around here. That can't be it. Unless I'm not using the blocks right. What if I just take us straight to the mystery place? There we go. What if we do that? Did that have something to do with the woolly plush? Nope, of course it didn't. Of course not. Did that have something to do with the office? Ah! We want to help Amanda go on her trip. So in order to do that... Yeah, no, this has to be the right way. Because she wants to see the Eiffel Tower first. She wants to go to Mexico City because it makes, it th makes her think of... Gretchen. And then London is Jack the Ripper. Unless you got more pieces for me, this is it. Let's see if our printer can give us any help. Because it's pretty straightforward, but... Yeah, nope. That, uh... That didn't help me. <laughs> that does not help me. I wonder if she'd be okay with going on the trip out of order. No, that wouldn't work. Oh, wait. It might. That might could work. Because if we go... Oh, but we're not going to hit Paris. Hold on now. That goes there. And then we loop back here. We go straight here. Ah, uh, Maybe not. But you saw the vision. I really feel like I'm on to something. No, this doesn't work because we need to go to Mexico City first. So that brown piece has to go there. Oh, wait. 
Hold on. Hold on. We go here, go here, and then this loops there, so that we turn that around, and then grab that other yellow piece, so that we end up back here! We got it! Watch this, watch this brain work. Watch my brain work. Yes, hit Paris, Mexico City. And then we're gonna hit London, loop back around. Yes, watch the brain work. Yes, sir, go on Amanda's trip. Let's start to, let's start the day. Hell yeah. Fuck yes. Okay, so then this is probably where this comes in because now we have these sides here. <laughs> Damn, I'm a genius. Oh, that's so rewarding. I it took me forever, but I fucking figured it out. Good morning, birdie. I'm a man. Mm, was that something? Was I supposed to do something with that? No, okay, let me just just chill. Just watch the video. Amanda, just chill out. Let's start the day. First, I need to make my bed. Will you help me? We need to fluff the pillows and smooth out the blanket. Which should we do first? Fill out the blanket. So That's a so stiff ass good. blanket. Why didn't it make Let's that sound? Those pillows. What's in there? Hold on. I just I just gotta periodically check. Look how peaceful he is. He doesn't know about anything bad in the world. Thanks for helping me. He doesn't even know about the world. I to do everything by myself. Every morning, I like to think about what adventure I might want to go on that day. What kind of adventure would you like to go on today? An adventure to find treasure! Uh -huh. And tapes! Yeah? And whatever's in Aunt Kate's office! Uh -huh. Are you getting bored with me? Okay, all right, here we go. So we got clown fit with the dress, white shirt, flower, blue jeans, blue jeans. Oh, I think I had that, yeah. And then tuxedo with the white pants. Yes, yes, I'll give you this other side, yes, ah! Me too. I'm going to get dressed and I'll meet you in the kitchen for breakfast. Have not eaten all day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What is your favorite thing to eat? Wait. Eggs. Okay, hold on. So we're in the kitchen now. So we're 110%. I like... I like pancakes. I don't like that for breakfast. But okay, you fuck you too then! <laughs> Myself. What the fuck? I'm pretty good at it, but today you can help me. First, let's pick a cup for my juice. Which one should I use? Take the knife. Take it away from her. Let's go with blue. I love blue. Let's continue the blue theme. Now, do you want to help me make bacon or toast? I like bacon. Yum, 
Bacon's my favorite. Hmm. Can you find me something to cook the bacon on? I wonder if that... It's taking you so long. Oh, what? Oh, what? What the hell? How is it this hard to find a frying pan? Oh, I didn't know that's what you needed. Thanks! Now what can I use to cook the bacon? The refrigerator, the sink, or the stove? The stove! Great! Let's make some bacon! Mm, I love bacon. It's so crisp and... <gasps> He's there! Get him out of here! Possum no possuming! Possum no possuming! Does he keep getting in here? He almost ruined my breakfast. Yeah. Time to make the rest of my meal. A day of adventuring called for a big breakfast. Okay, hang on. That's it right there. That's it. So bacon. Pigs are made of bacon. I'm so sorry for all the vegans and vegetarians right now. Apples. Okay, so it's muffin to egg. Muffin to egg. Bacon is here. What is that? Apple is on the bottom right. Uh, milk is in the top right corner. And then the bread. So nothing goes here. Nothing goes in this left corner here. What did I say? Oh, wait. No, oh, hold on. There we go. Yes, play with the activity block in the morning. When you're feeling bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish this. This is all new. It all looks so good. Riley, I've been monitoring police frequencies and there's a fire. Huh? I was about to say, we were just there! I'm not sure there's going to be anything left there. I'm so sorry. Don't even worry about it, sweetheart. We about to get to the bottom of this. So I can no longer finish that tape? Is what you're telling me? Okay. Story beats aside, I guess, when you're feeling bad. Let's see what this is all about. Wooly, you're being kind of creepy right now. Okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just checking this. Just watch the video. Okay. Um. Hi. I'm. Wooly. I'm Wooly. I know who you are. You're my favorite. Today, we're going to. We're going to. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Amanda? Amanda, what do you want to do? I don't care. I don't feel right. Maybe doing something will make you feel better. I already tried drawing some pictures, but that didn't help. What do you do when you're feeling bad? I cry. Cry. I wish I could. <laughs> oh I God. feel like there's nothing left in me. Amanda, how about an adventure? What makes you think I want to go on an adventure right now? Are you even paying attention? I feel weird. Leave me alone! Well, I'm going to go on an adventure in my mind. You can come along with me if you like. Telling a story is like going on an adventure. What's your favorite kind of story? Scary. <laughs> I don't know. I just threw something out there. Oh. Oh, we actually get to pick. 
I feel like scary would be the go-to option for this game. The, the, those kind of stories are too <laughs> scary for me. No! Wow. I wish I hadn't asked. Oh. Okay. A story. Oh, I can't pause. Once upon a time. Hey, why don't you help me tell the story? See if you have anything there that will help you follow along. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight. Okay. It's okay. A brave knight. All right. Uh, I want to assume that we get these stories from the books in the library. So when I think of a brave knight, I think of the squeegee story. I need to find the squeegee story. Greg the Grape? Maybe? Oh, Greg the Grape sounds about right. I like that as a brave knight. He's literally holding a sword. Uh, is that the choice you want to go with? Yeah. Um, that doesn't match the story I'm telling, does it? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. Is it? It's got to be Squeegee then. It's okay. Take your time. Oh, they're on the they're on the table. <laughs> I didn't see this. Okay. Um. Then probably the lonely knight. What the shit? Do you want to stick with this choice? Yes. Are you even listening to my story? Okay. Moving on. Wait! They've helped me before. Give them a chance to try. Please? <laughs> oh my god! Hey, she kind of killed that though. Y'all saw the moves? The quest. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. A dragon. So, so I think the beginning of the story was the lonely knight, and then the annoying little wizard, and then this one would be the hungry, hungry dragon. That's got to be the right answer. Do you want to keep your choice? Yes. Ooh, scary. Oh, thank I God. Like this story is boring. Hold on, you'll like it. It gets better. Fun story. It gets better. There's a princess. Okay, let's see. What happens next? Deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me? Sobbed the princess. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh There we go. The caring princess. I want to redo it now so that I get it right. Is this the choice you want to go with? Yeah, that's the choice. Um a little focus here maybe. What the fuck? Who cares? Just tell your dumb story. Amanda, I'm doing my best to cheer you up. What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! He's going to tear it! Stop it! I got you, I got you. Don't worry about it, I got you. I'm clicking. We killed him. Is he dead? Like, dead dead? I thought today couldn't get any worse. It's fine. The day is still young. Maybe finishing the story will cheer you up. Did I do it right? Or is he just being a bitch? Um, okay. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword and bravely faced the dragon. 
The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon. Hey, 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 calm down. Listen, look here, you. I need you to be a bit more patient, okay? I don't know what kind of issues you've got. I don't know if you've got... You definitely have daddy issues. I can tell. Uh, we need... The Hungry Hungry Dragon. Right? I feel like we already did that one. Oh! You can do both at the same time! Okay, I definitely need to try this again. Okay, so it's the dragon and the knight. Have you made your pick? What a brave oh. story. Oh, what a creative story. Let's get to the grand finale. Okay, I need to do this the over again. The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. So we need the knight and the princess. I was not fully listening to the story, but I think okay. that was the right one. Is that your selection? Yes. Lock in. Could that story have been any more boring? Why did you even waste my time? I'm not sure if I want to tell stories with you anymore. That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense. Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day, and you made it even worse. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Read a minute of the wrong story. God damn it. And I have to do all that all over again. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. I don't have to do all that all over again. Perfect. All right, let's get the right story going. Let's get it. Um, I shower when I'm sad. Showers. Good for you. <laughs> okay. And I don't want to skip ahead because I don't remember the full story. Adventure. What's your favorite kind of story? I like action stories. A give me the action. Actions. That sounds neat. <laughs> I'll have to check out some stories like that. <laughs> Yes, actions. Okay. It's a great a story. story genre. See if you have anything there that will help you follow along. Okay, I got you this time. Once upon a time. I really thought I was supposed to be looking for the books knight. that I needed in the beginning. Uh, Brave Knight. It's okay. So we just need the Brave Knight because he started the story with it's a Brave Knight. Is that the choice you want to go with? Yes. Good job. Hell yeah. There's our Brave Knight. Uh. So okay. We should get a better result Let's this time. Because I got it. The I'm locked in. A wise wizard Tight like a booty hole. Wait a minute. The dangerous quest. Oh. Uh. Was it? Shit. I was too busy talking. I was too busy spewing nonsense. Was it the knight and the wizard or just the wizard? Oh, no. Uh. Okay. Uh, fuck! Okay. If I mess this up, it's fine. I have the power of editing. Do you want to stick with this choice? Yes. Are you even listening fuck! to my story? Okay, so I fucked that up the one time. That's okay. If I don't mess up again, I should be able to tell the right story. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. So we just need the dragon. Do you want to keep your choice? Ooh, scary. I like it. This story is boring. I think it's a fun story. Deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me, sobbed the princess. So I need the dragon and the princess, I believe. 
And he he didn't mention the knight, so I don't think I need the knight for that one. Is this the choice you want to go with? That poor princess. Ooh, okay, I'm nervous as hell right now. Why doesn't the dragon just put her out of her misery? Amanda, I'm gonna put you out of your misery. Best to cheer you up, the knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword and bravely faced the dragon. The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon. So as we know, calm down. As we know, we need the knight and the dragon. Have you made your pick? That's the one. Wow, what a brave knight. Wow, what a creative story. Let's get to the grand finale. The princess emerged from princess. the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight. Knight? And traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. So it's just the princess and the knight. I think the first time I just did the princess. Okay, is that your selection? That is. Could that story have been any more? Alright, she didn't like that because I fucked it up the one time. My time. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to tell stories with you anymore. That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense. Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day and you made it even worse. Shit! I can't okay, so I cannot mess it up. A single time, or I get the claws. Did it help? Nope. Oh that man, didn't help at all. God damn it! Great suggestion. All right, whatever. What if I write a love story? <laughs> okay. Okay, a story. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight. Good job! The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. I'm not gonna fuck this one up. Knight, wizard. That's the one. You want to stick and if it's not, one? I'll chop my balls off and sell them on eBay. Right! I get to You're keep my balls. Storytelling. <laughs> Let's see what this quest is. Wait! Helped me before. Give them a chance to try. Okay, so this one's gonna show up anyways. She's just here to make sure I don't fuck up Amanda's day. Which is understandable, I suppose. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. Good job! Deep in the dragon's cave. It also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me? Sobbed the princess. Good job. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword and bravely faced the dragon. The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon. Good job. The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom where they lived happily ever after. Now, if this is not right, I'm going to have some questions. Because it didn't mention anything about the dragon is dead. The wizard okay. shouldn't be here. Is that your selection? The wizard wasn't mentioned. Could that story have been any more boring? Why did you even waste my time? I just love a happy ending. Don't you? What the fuck? Ah! I better go back in and like... Nothing? I told the right story!
maybe am I supposed to let the possum tear down the picture? Because she says, I didn't think today could get any worse when the possum gets away. Or when I, you know, maybe I should try that. Because I, I got the story right. I think the only other thing that could be wrong is what I say to, like, you know, what I do to cheer myself up. What could be the answer to that? Smile. Smile's a good one. Let's see. Smile. Let's try smile. See, it doesn't... I can't even press enter to, to lock my answer in. Play. No. Friends. Friends help me cheer up. Good for you. Okay. I don't think there is an answer for that. Are there any other books around that I can interact with? I know all the books. What does the printer say? I, sh I don't need help with this one. But I, I just want to know what the printer says. Huh. So maybe we're supposed to let... Yeah, okay. Maybe my theory was right. Maybe we are supposed to let the possum tear the picture down. That poor... So we're not going to help him. We can make another one. Come on, Amanda. It'll be okay. Maybe finishing the story will cheer you up. <sighs> um, okay. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight... It's the knight and the dragon. I don't think that helped. If I'm being honest, I really don't think that that did anything any good. The is that not the finale. picture that picture's back the princess emerged from the shadows of the cave i'm so confused yeah, that story i just love a happy ending don't you What does this mean? She's sitting on the couch. She's drawing. The pictures are already put up. Maybe is drawing the answer? What if I do the dragon as the last story? No, that can't be right. That, no. How long is this going to take? Let's see. Hold on. Based on the pictures, she wants... Hold on. Okay, based on okay. the pictures, there's the knight and the princess, the princess and the wizard, the wizard and the dragon, the hero slains the dragon. We have to do it based on her drawings, I believe. That's what the printer was trying to tell us. I just don't know what order it's supposed to be in. That order doesn't make any sense either. Amanda? If we, I'm assuming we're going in order of, like, left to right. So it'd be... Princess in the night, princess in the wizard. Unless that's the path possibilities. Because if we have princess in the night, the knight kills the dragon. And then the princess and the knight live happily forever after. But then if it's the princess and the wizard, the wizard kills the dragon and the knight is lonely. That could be it. So we got okay. the princess and the wait. So this is just the introductory. So I'm going to assume that the introductory has to be the same. We're introduced by the the the, the, the knight. Is that the choice you want to go with? Yes. Good job. There's our brave knight. Uh... Okay, let's keep going. The knight went to see a wise. So there's the knight and the wizard. It's okay. I really hope this is it. It feels right, because based on the pictures, it feels like there's two different paths that can be taken. Choice? 
there was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. The dragon... This is all still introductory. It's not until... Uh, it's not until who will you save me. Your choice? Ooh. Okay. We've got the princess and the dragon. If that poor princess, the knight rushed to the dragon. So then I believe this one has to be the wizard and the dragon. I'm nervous. Come on. Have you made your pick? Let that be the one. I'm starting to think you're messing with me, and it's not nice. Please let me finish my story. The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom. Uh. Princess and the wizard. It just it it's got to make sense, right? Okay, is that your selection? That makes no Oh my god, bro. I'm not sure if What I'm are the fucking drawings? That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense. Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day. What are the fucking drawings? I don't want to have to look it up, but I really think I'm going to have to. Because the drawings don't make any sense to me, but I feel like I'm on the right track. Obviously, the printer said, you know, look at the drawings. But the order does not make any sense. The first half of the story is just introductory, where we meet the knight, the princess, the wizard, and the dragon. And then, as far as the drawings go, the knight and the princess fall in love. Um... I don't know how the fuck the wizard and the princess have anything to do with it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Because why would the why would the dragon and the wizard be confronting each other? This has to be the knight and the princess living happily ever after. You would assume that the wizard is lonely for some reason. I, I got to look it up. Because I don't think I'm going to get it. Two very boring minutes later. Okay. So, I was on the right track. These pictures do help. So, we need to go with the knight and the princess. Okay. And then that's going to activate something. Is that the choice you want to go gonna with? activate a narrator telling the story instead of Wooly. Once upon a time, there were a knight and a princess who loved each other very much. But one day, the knight had to leave the princess behind. Um, where did that princess come from? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. So then it's gonna be the princess and the wizard, maybe? Take your time. The princess, now that the knight is gone, goes off to find the wizard herself. Do you want to stick with this choice? The princess went to visit a wise wizard. She asked the wizard to help her see her knight again. No, the wizard didn't talk to the princess. The wizard talked to the knight to give them a quest. Okay, moving on. Wait, they're trying. Please. I really am trying. I'm like at my wit's end. <laughs> I'm low-key <laughs> trying as much as I can. I just started the story. I, I started it so that it would give me a bit of a push as to what to do. So I didn't see how the rest of this is supposed to play out. The quest. But I just know that I'm there following. At this point, I don't know. In a dark, far away cave. Okay, the dragon and the wizard. Do you want to keep? The wizard, being a bit of a trickster transformed the princess into a terrifying dragon. Mm. That's not, uh, uh, I'm liking where this is going. <sighs> can we please try my story and then you can tell your own? We tried your story. It didn't okay, work. 
bitch. What happens next? I know exactly what happens next. The knight comes to kill the the dragon. And then the after the dragon transforms back into the princess, the knight does the the Andrew Garfield, you know, Gwen Stacy thing, the Peter Parker Gwen Stacy thing where he's looking at her. And How long is this going to take? Fuck. Is this in her new dragon form, the princess searched for her knight in hopes of reuniting. She fucks with the when story. She found him, the knight did not recognize her. She tried to call out to the knight, but only breathed fire. The knight slew the dragon, not knowing they were killing their true love. Oh boy, the knight is gonna regret that. <laughs> Where are you even getting these ideas? What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Okay. And now it's the knight and the princess. And then it's just gonna be the lonely knight afterwards. Have you made your pick? I have. Right before drawing its last breath, the dragon transformed back into the princess. Horrified by what they had done, the sobbing knight embraced the princess's lifeless form. No! That's not- It's so tragic! I love it! Keep going! No, that's not how the story goes at all! There was a big battle! The brave knight prevailed! And then- the princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived. Yeah, 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 we don't want that story. We want the ending to the real one. The Lonely Knight. Okay, is that your selection? Yes, it is. Lamenting that they had killed their one true love, the knight resolved to wander the world alone. Oh, I tried. No, we tried and we fucking yeah. failed several times. I actually feel a lot better after hearing the story. No! They helped me feel better. She is pissed. You knew exactly what I needed to hear. Thank you. No, thank YouTube. <laughs> Shit. Because I wouldn't have figured that out on my own. Read Amanda a story. Alright, now what? What do you do about you? Five ways to hide a hammer. We... Break the TV? Oh, shit. Can I have that back? Thank you. Uh, wash? What the hell do I need that for? Okay, that doesn't help. That's for the last puzzle. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's hunt for treasure. I feel like we had that one already. Can I give the woolly plush to this Amanda right here? Oh, it's gone. No. 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 Five ways to hide a hammer. That book isn't normally there. Let's hunt for treasure. Bandits hide all kinds of things. Off rip. Oh. Oh, I have the. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. In the woods. Okay. Uh, north. We can we can do this. We can get this done. North. X marks the spot. Get him away. Give him woolly. Time's running out. Here.
Godzilla? Is that the purge? What the fuck? Give Amanda the woolly puppet. Cool. Okay, what the hell just happened? Oh, yes. Yes. This is what we wanted. Please do not place microfilm sheets directly on bright screens like TVs. It will leave burn marks. What the fuck is that? Okay, that's the layout of this place, but why is that important? All right, hang on. We'll deal with that in just a second. I got to... I gotta keep examining the rest of this place. I know that there should be, there was a tape, yeah. Okay, we can fix it. There's a code for this too? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why are there train track pieces? Where's the hammer? Give me the hammer. Fuck this frog. Really? I'm trying to take a look at all the, the stuff in here. 2012? I saw the only the only numbers that I've seen so far are 2012 and 2013. Or 2012 and 2023. Those aren't it. I don't know. I can't seem to figure it out. Um so we're gonna we're just gonna watch we're just gonna watch the tape and see what the hell happens. We well, can, can fix it. it. Did that tape have acid in it? I'm not doing that. Dissect the frog. Oh no. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Wooly, what do you have there? Oh, just some broken stuff I just meant to get out of No! Shit! Does she still- Fuck! I needed- Ah, uh, shit! Okay. Um, can I still- Can I still give it to her? No. Uh, I have the wheel here! I had the wheel. We can fix it. Right? Could have gone to the dump now. Shush, that's okay. See, Willie, I told you. Okay. A broken thing to see the world to be good as new again. What else do you have in there that we can fix? Amanda, none of this is worth fixing. I'll be the dead of that. You can't throw poor Blackbot away. Amanda, it doesn't work anymore. Batteries. There's... There's a battery in here. Oh, but we need one of these batteries.
Uh, what the fuck is happening? It looked like it needed two batteries, though. There's only one in there. Um, this should be, it looked like it, te it needed two AAA batteries. We fixed or two AA, whichever one is, yeah. <laughs> I guess sometimes breaking things is a good thing. I remember Blabbot from the first game. Hello? Shoo him away! Possum no possuming! Possum no possuming! Hey, you! A little help here? No, I got you, bro. I'm already on it. Possum no possuming! <laughs> possum no possuming! I am tripping hard as shit. I can't handle this anymore. Damn. <laughs> Silly Wooly. The picnic table wake of Tokyo in it. What do you say? Think we can fix it? Boy Wooly, you really need to lay up. Um Oh. That wasn't there before. Somebody's coming in and placing new things in this frog for me to dis dissect. you a new one oh thanks for trying oh that wasn't it yeah, that definitely wasn't it. It was a metaphorical heart. Riley, something's outside the library with me. I keep catching glimpses, but I don't know what it is. I don't think we're safe here anymore. Hold tight. I'm making my way back around the building. I sent the frog. What the fuck? Do you feel safe? Not at all. Not even a little bit. There is not a moment in this instance where I feel safe at all. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I This is like from the first game. What's your favorite thing about where you live? Mmm. 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 Shit, I should have paused it there. Why are you back? I need the um I need the map schematics, the layout of this place. If I put it up to the TV, it's going to leave burn marks or something like that, right? 
I probably should have done it when it was. Okay. Oh, that sounds nice. My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Does it, Willie? Yeah. I mean, m most of the time. <laughs> Do you feel safe where you live? I do, fortunately. Yeah. Uh, what if I type no? Fuck. Wait, pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Okay. So now we go back to that room. That's got to have done something. Oh. Wait, no. I'm pretty sure it was just like that because I did that. Please do not put microfilm sheets directly on bright screens like TVs. It will leave burn marks. Right, right. But what does that have to do with anything? Can I still not go in the bathrooms? That's some bullshit. What if I have to pee? I've been here for like five hours. Yeah, me too. It what did that do? Okay, so I take this, I put it back under the microfilm, or whatever the thing is, the microfilm machine. And then... Zoom! Recalibrate. Refocus. Zoom! What does this mean? <laughs> what the fuck? So this here is the room that we're in. There's a clown. I'm not seeing a clown and I'm pretty sure I that's a really good thing actually. That's a good thing that I don't see a clown. I probably had to have the burn marks from Okay, hang on. Hang on. I think I know how to figure this puzzle out too. But in order to do that, I need to just get through the um get through the tape and start over. Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? I trust Kate. Give me the option to type, because I know you will. I trust Kate. Oh, oh, oh. Whoop. So yeah, I think it's one of those things where you progressively have to keep putting the microfilm on the TV screen so that it makes more marks. Yeah, so I, I did mess that up because in the beginning when there was the um, when there was the pattern on the TV, I was supposed to put it there and it's supposed to reveal more. Yeah. Ah. Damn. Okay, so I definitely need to start that over. That's so good. I trusted her, too. I wish I could still talk to her. Me, too. I was actually I related to her. People I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willie. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself. Uh, like, by having adventures with your friends. 
What's something that scares you? Ah, uh, loneliness. Let's see if we type loneliness. We can we can connect with her soul. Cause she's very lonely. That's not what you told me before. Huh? What did I say before? What scares me? Oh, Amanda. Uh oh. I didn't type that. Look at him. You can't be serious. I didn't Some type that. I think strangers are really scary. But I don't feel that way. Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. Riley, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Amanda, I don't know what you're trying to do back here, but I really Shut don't- Shut up, Wooly. Okay, I'm in. We need to get moving. Sometimes I worry about trusting your friends. I refuse. Can't stop. Zero escape. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet. Uh, okay. All right. So I need to pop that disc in, or not the disc. I need to pop that in again. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? The restaurants. Okay. Pop. So it should have just been the three. Oh, no. Do this? Yeah? I'm really glad you're okay. Uh huh. Let's gather the tapes quickly. I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here. Okay. I still got unfinished business. Okay, I have no idea what any of this means. What the fuck? L M W H. What does any of that mean? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay. I have an idea. So I'm going to take a picture of this stuff. Firstly, I need to solve the block puzzles. The block puzzles will give you the answers that you're looking for. Hey, how's it going? You're just digging through a pile of Legos. Is that helping? Um, so we need the clown. We need the army guy. We need the kid with the hat and his baggy pants. We need O X O X O X X O. And then for this one here, we need our moon, crescent moon. Empty space, sun. We're just gonna, just to move that. Empty space, sun, flower four petals, bubble, flower five petals. Perfect, perfect. Then this one here, we need empty space up here. Uh, empty space up here. Pig goes there. How? Goes here. Muffin stays there. Bread. I think that means wheat. Orange. Apple. Oh, no, no, no. Egg. Egg goes. Leaf apple there. Orange there. And then egg here. Yes. Okay. okay. Key. Uh, and then the key... He does something with an eye. Key, what the fuck is the key for? Key! Goddamn key! Okay, one plus two. There's something over here in this area. There's a lot of math going on over here. M slash D, M slash D. What do you gotta say here?
Stuff I already knew. Got it. L, M, and W, H. Are these initials? L, M, and W, H. Please don't make me go through all these books again. I will actually burn. I will, I will actually crash out. L, M. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. L, M. So the squeegee book. Um, we need a WH now. I've got an LM. We need a WH. WH. Okay, wait. Oh, one and two. Okay, so they're number one and number two. Oh, hold on. Let me go back to the picture. One plus two equals MDMD. What does that mean? M divided by D. M slash D. I am on the right track. And I, it looks like that is the only thing that I really need to figure out. L, M, W, H. I got those. I just need to figure out one plus two equals M, D, M, D. Well, one plus two equals three, obviously. Who thinks of these puzzles? Who actually comes up with this shit? I still want to know why these pieces are just around here. Maybe now I can actually, I can take the choo-choo train and send it to that mystery place. That's really out of place for doing something like this right now, but... Do I have to... Oh, okay, hold on. I, I imagine that I would have to go through... All the motions getting to the right place. Hang on. Because I'm, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but I'm slowly figuring some stuff out. Stuff that may not necessarily be all too important, but... It's here, so it's got to mean something. I'm just doing all this. The masked girl is like, hey, uh, we really don't have time for you to be fooling around like this. Okay. So theoretically, the train is going to go here, here... It's going to go to Paris, Mexico City, London, and then our mystery location. Right? Because now we have all the pieces to do that. Please tell me that does something for me. Go on Amanda's trip to the secret cave. Okay, what did that do? Oh, popped out a secret tape. Okay, let's finish this one. Uh, 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 Rebecca. What's the point of talking to you when you can't even answer a simple question? I don't remember what the question was. Even places that look... Okay, Rebecca. Oh, uh, Sam. Yeah, he was so trusting, too. And that can be a mistake. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't. Okay. First secret tape! Holy hell, how long have you been cataloging these? since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out, and most of them are subtle, but they're there, and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints, trail and all? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. 
And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid show, for Christ's sake. We sound insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kids show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is Who the really fuck is Peter? area of expertise. Okay, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. Okay. That was our first and probably only tape, secret tape. What is she here? Oh. The fudge? I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn near. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that or they were. So why her specifically and why here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. We don't even have any conclusive evidence. This is a long ass yeah, secret tape. Holy no shit. Way. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually... Is that Kate? Kate? It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. I wasn't even paying attention to the names. We the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. We have to hit the pause button on this. Subtle hinting? Question mark? Hey, what do you think about all this? Looks like you got scratches on your face. I noticed that um, a little earlier. Okay. I don't... That had to have been some subtle hinting. Hinting. But maybe I'm just tripping. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David? Or are we just going to pretend I'm he's not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Hey, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can. Okay. That was a very long... Probably, like I said, the only one that we're going to find. I still need to figure out the rest of this code. So we have our first two books, or our only two books that we need. We need one and two. So maybe it's... Cause this one has a big-ass eight on it. So I just had an idea. If one plus two... That is a plus, right? Yeah. Okay. So if one, hold on, let me, let me go back to the picture for you guys. Cause I, I might put it up on the screen while I'm editing, but if one plus two equals MD, you would assume that MD means three 
three, I don't know. Um, but M slash D has to be division. M divided by D. So I did three divided by two, you know, cut in half, and it's 1.5. Uh, but I don't think that the code would be 1515, would it? Ah, uh, shit. I might have to look this one up, too. Where did I put the key? Oh, God, I lost the key. Oh, God, I lost the key. Yo, I lost the fucking key. Oh, there it is. Okay, what it, what would this go to? Maybe the bathroom doors? Shit. On the picture... The key goes towards the eye. But I don't know what eye that could be. Oh! Wait. There's a part here. Um. Okay. What the hell did that do? What was that supposed to do? Bathrooms are still locked. I think whatever that was supposed to do will unlock once I figure out this damn 1 plus 2 equals MDMD. MD. That could be another... That might be another initial. MD. I have all these books over here that I'm not going to scan again. But I, I will if I have to. I just really hope that I don't have to. There's an MM. I feel like that's getting us a little closer. An MA. I don't know. I had it in the bag. I gotta look it up. I I had it, and I'm disappointed that I couldn't figure it out. Okay, firstly, I'm very thrown off because behind this painting, oh, that's the eye. Keep your eye peeled. So you're supposed to peel this. There's a so there's three keys that we need to find. And they each go under the desk I thought there was just the one wait huh ah and that opens up that compartment now this part was where I was kind of confused because the code is three eight three three something what was the code again three eight three eight one three hold on three one eight three which I don't know how you get that Three one eight three. How are you supposed to get that? One plus two equals MDMD. Where does the eight come in from? I know that the squeegee book has an eight on it, but how do you get three one eight? Never mind. Never mind. Let's just never mind. What's the fuck? You're okay. Let's do what we came to do and get out of here. Don't tell me we have more souls trapped in more electronics. I can't handle that. Run. Oh shit, do I actually have to run? What? 
Oh. 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 Uh. So I actually feel pretty proud of myself. I feel really proud of myself for being able to finish this game only having needed help with maybe like two or three puzzles. Because in the first game, I legitimately felt like I needed to look up a guide for everything. And I, I think it's just for the fact that I'm not used to putting my brain through so much strain to try and figure out a puzzle that either doesn't seem as obvious as it should or seems too obvious. There was something about the first game, and I think that the puzzles had been significantly had been made significantly easier to solve, especially when it was like watching the Amanda tapes. But then when it was like coming to the very end of the game, I had it. I had everything up until that one plus two equals MDMD puzzle. I, I what the fuck? How do you get three one eight three out of that? I somebody please help me figure that shit out down in the comments. Um, because I feel so proud of myself for doing about ninety five percent of the puzzles by myself. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video on how to find the secret tapes so that we can watch those as well. So this is gonna be a bit of a longer video. So there's souls trapped inside the tapes. Souls of the kids who went missing, I would assume. Either that or like Amanda's soul has been separated and put in these tapes, or not Amanda, but Rebecca. I don't know, there's somebody's soul, somebody or somebody, uh, a collection of people. Souls are trapped in these tapes. And in the next game, I don't even know what the next game could be about. I don't even know if there is a next game. The ending was open to interpretation that there should be a next game. I don't even know what it would be about. Get on Amanda's nerves. What? How the hell did I get that? Um, I basically just went back. I hit continue. I don't know. I've got that orange tape there. I just got that blue tape. I wonder if the blue tape get on Amanda's nerves. There was one that you had to get during the patience tape, but because we've already moved past that and I shouldn't have to start a completely new game, they give me this tape for free. And then the other ones I have to find on my own. We're just going to watch this. And you look straight into the camera here. That's smile. Sam! If I do this, you'll let me see her? We'll have to get clearance for that. But let's just say doing this will improve your chances. You know you just can't keep me in here. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but people are going to be looking- Okay, I'm all set. We can go ahead with your statement. Rebecca, honey, I am so proud of you. And, and I know that our, our friends are taking care of you while I'm away. You can, tr I'm not gonna tell her she can trust you. You've got me locked up in here and you want me to act like everything is okay. This is kidnapping. It's, it's, it's coercion. You this tell him. This is kidnapping. It's coercion. It's if you wish, one of my associates will gladly provide you with a copy of your signed contract. You agreed to this. I did not agree to lie to my daughter. Operation South Corridor. Go ahead. This is going to take some time. Because Rick Colton isn't exactly cooperative today but i got something i'll bring over the tape for editing and you recorded all proceedings still running can you send someone down to the lockup protocol copy that what's your authorization number <clears throat> five four three alpha tango alpha six seven security escort will arrive in 90 seconds you have clearance to stop recording all right mr colton this is how you're going to behave. We'll do what we can with what you gave us. That's wild. Okay.
All right. So now let me see. How do we get that other tape? The third tape is in the cube puzzle. So let me. Okay. And then. Okay. <laughs> this video is moving so fast. Last piece here. Where the fuck did the key come from? What is the key for? Hold on, let me just let me just watch this all the way through. Oh, solve all the sides of the activity block. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is so. <gasps> sat with her eyes closed, imagining she was still in Wonderland. But she knew that if she opened her eyes, everything would go back to normal. The instrument she heard would become grass, lowing in the wind. Rings of smoke from the caterpillar would become the ripples on the pond. The noise of teacups would turn into the sound of bells on sheep, and the queen's loud voice would become a boy calling for the sheep. All the strange sounds she heard would just be animals in the meadow. Wow. What a fun story. Did you all like that story? No. This story in particular is very confusing. Thank Mr. Sam Colton for joining us this morning for a very special Hate. story time. Hey, you all may know a friend of Mr. Colton's. You can watch her on her very own hometown hit show on Kensdale's public access channel. Do you know what show that is? Amanda That's right, my friends. Now, parents, on your way out today, please consider donating to the library's renovation fund so we can have even more great programming like we did today. Right, a major goal of the renovation is to create a special place for your little ones to read and dream. In the very own Kids' Corner, with a state-of-the-art activity center and expanded selection for early readers. Now, remember, we can't do it without your support. That new kid's corner will open up a whole new world where your kids will be able to feed their imagination and fuel their own adventures. That's I right. can't wait to see such a special place come to life. Yeah. Thank you again, Mr. Colton. And I look forward to seeing every one of you back here Thursday for a special production of The Very Silly Groundhog by our friends at Blue Fairy Puppet Theater. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> hey, for thanks coming. for Not a clap, for not a yay. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm about to. And I'll catch you later. Good to see you. Didn't expect to see you at story time. Okay. Well, I'm a sucker for that Cheshire cat. Perfect. Yeah, give me what you got. Um, you know, I have to say, I just love seeing that connection you've made with the kids here. It's I love it. something else. You're my favorite jumper. Do you have a minute? Look at that. Okay. They weren't saying anything important in the background. All right. That's three out of, I would assume... I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I'm just going to keep watching my video. Oh shit. You can just <laughs> rip the barcode off of that page. What? What? Click me. 
obtain the library database secret tape. Who? I want to know. I legitimately want to know who the fuck is figuring this all out by themselves. I know that there are people who do this for a living. Like, you know, theorists, like the game theory, whatever, whatever. I want to play this game because it's a man of the adventure. You know, I had a good time with the first one. I very much enjoyed this one. But these secrets, I know that they're secrets for a reason, but holy shit! This is not for the casual gamer. And I'm starting to realize that I am simply just a casual gamer with a YouTube channel. Oh, Rebecca. Maybe not, Rebecca? The hands are pale. She could just be dead, though. You are a shitty cameraman! Oh my god! You should be recording school fights, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm getting too aggressive. I think it's just, it's late. <laughs> I'm tired. This game... Okay, yeah, that is Rebecca. Oh shit. Run, bitch! Run! <sighs> okay. Alright. We're almost done, I think. I don't know. Seems like a lot more puzzles to get. The last one that we need is in the final tape. Oh so, no. Need. Get that. We'll say. Okay. Get that. And then you. Not the Netflix show. All this time together? I'm hurt. Some people think strangers are really scary. But I don't feel that way. Strangers? Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. I think I still do. Sorry, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is falling. Yeah, 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 leave me alone. You're gonna die anyways. Not them again! What are you even doing here? Nobody wants you here. I just got in. We need to get moving. Can you even hear us? What is with this guy? Why have you been letting this stranger get home this whole time? I have no control over that. Am I supposed to help? Why wouldn't you help us? I trusted you. I didn't know I was supposed to. What did I just say about strangers? Rid of this guy already. Was that what I was supposed to do? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Amanda, can we please go home? Sure, Willie. I don't want to play anymore today, anyway. Secret tape? Ah, secret audio tape. Uh, oh, I think, hold on. 
Let me let me just confirm. So after unlocking all that, throw that in there. Oh, Riley, please. Oh God, I'm praying you hear this. If someone can get this to you, you can stay safe, so I can protect you. Okay, please, just don't watch the tapes. It's way too fucking Destroy late for that. Them. Hey, pay attention to the road. Are you Kate? She... Kate died. Are you Kate? Because of me. Oh. Oh? My brother was one of the kids who disappeared. Uh-huh. All I wanted was to find him. And someone came to me. They told me he was trapped and that the only way to free him was to smash the tapes. And I believed them. I brought you here to destroy these. I thought I was doing the right thing. The night she died, I went to your aunt's house. She'd been working so hard to find the truth, but all I wanted was to get Jordan back. I screamed at Kate to give me the tapes, and then... That... Creature. It was horrible. You look sick as fuck, though. I pushed Kate out of there, begged her to run. I didn't want her to get hurt because of me, but then she... Scar is badass. <sighs> I think it was protecting the tape. We didn't know. Kate didn't know. And now I... I led those psychos right to her house. They're the ones who burned it down. It was to destroy those tapes. I know it. I saw the letter she wrote to you. I know she trusted you to pick up where she left off. And I took advantage of that trust to bring you here. To find the tapes. I don't know if you can ever forgive me, but I do know that Hamlin needs to be brought down. I won't be their pawn anymore. I will do whatever I can to- Riley, take these and get out of here. Take these, but no. I just took the one. Hope you're right oh, you. you're Joanne. I promise. Was the name always? I'm sorry, I'm probably tired and really slow right now. <laughs> she dies either way. Oh, 
Um, okay. All right. So, Hamelin, the company that has apparently been around since the Middle Ages, I think is what one of the tapes had said. Their entire objective was to create this show so that they could summon an entity or entities because they were having Rebecca recite the Balam, the Iris, whatever the entity names were. This was stuff that we had seen from the first game. In this game, it goes into how their plan to summon these entities and how everything kind of like affected everyone afterwards. One of the other things that I noticed myself and that I had read in the comments of like the secret tapes videos, that other entity in the true ending apparently is what it's called is it, it resembles woolly in some way. It looks like a sheep and how the entity that we've been seeing since the very first game resembles Amanda. I don't know how that has anything to do. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Amanda the Adventure 2 was a really good game. The uh, puzzles were really fun to solve. I felt so good when it came to solving the puzzles on my own. Like I said, I only needed help with like 5% of the puzzles. I only needed help figuring out 5% of the puzzles. Everything else was all me. Everything that I had figured out was all my brain up here. And it was so rewarding. It felt so good to figure it out without the use of a guide. The story is still very confusing to me. I don't think I'm going to get it until I watch like theory videos or whatever, you know, people actually piecing it together because one, I'm way too damn tired to do it myself. There's obviously going to be an Amanda the Adventurer 3. I just don't know what the game would be about or if there even should be one. I think that this should be left up to interpretation as to what happens next. I think that uh, you know, if I, if we were going off of headcanon and, you know, let's say the inner universe, there was no Amanda, the adventure three, there was no possibility of one. It came out confirmed by the developers that there would not be an Amanda, the adventure three decide on your own, how this game ends ends for me. I think what happens is, is Riley takes the tape and the tape has some secrets about Hamlin that they didn't want to get out. And Amanda, the entity, Amanda is meant to stop whoever is trying to destroy these tapes. Riley is gonna not destroy the tape, but expose the tape on like live TV or something. She's gonna broadcast it so that everybody can see exactly what the fuck Hamlin had been up to all this time. And I don't know that, no, that kind of seems like a stupid ending. Cause like, what's the point of going through all this just to expose a company that could easily cover all this stuff up? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So you don't want to miss out when we reach the goal. Super thanks are active. Uh, memberships are active as well. There's a link down in the description to join if you would like. There's three levels of membershipians. <laughs> if you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see the full playlist of Amanda the Adventurer 2, or I guess if you want to see the last video of Amanda the Adventurer 2, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. I'm going to bed. I'm I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs>